In this video, we're going to talk about what can cause an LFF3 fault on the ATV320 drive. Now, the LFF3 fault is a 4 to 20 milliamp loss. Um, it's actually a warning. Um, and basically, what that means is the drive is looking at your analog inputs, either that's AI1, uh, 2, 3, etc. And if it does not see any kind of signal coming into those inputs, either or, then, then that, that's why you get this particular warning. Now, that might be an error or that might be valid, uh, but if you want to check to see if it's programmed or if you want to unassign it, if it should not be there, then what you can do is your main menu, you want to press enter, you want to scroll down into configuration, enter, scroll down to full, enter, you're going to go down to I.O. Enter. Scroll down into... There's actually th uh, three things we can take a look at here. Um, the first one is AI1C. The second is AI2C and AI3C. These are your alarms parameters. So you can press on each one. And you can see what they're programmed as. Now, um, again, if they're programmed to a specific function where your drive is looking for 4 to 20 milliamp loss, you can just go and make that a no assignment if you'd like to. Um, and if you don't want it to be programmed, like I said, you can just unassign that, but if you do want to keep it there, then there must be a reason why it's programmed. So this is basically how you go through each of those alarm groups, AI2C or AI3C, and see if they're programmed or not. And by the way, those little indicator marks on the bottom, they tell you if they're programmed and uh, or they're programmed or not. Basically, if it's two dashes on the top, that means they're programmed. If you press enter once, that means they're not programmed. So make sure that you go in each section here and see which ones are on the top and which one ones are on the bottom. That's how you know whether it's programmed or not. And we just pressed that, so that's basically it. So right now, we have, with the exception of this one, all right, so right now, this means that we have nothing programmed for an alarm group, so it's unassigned. But again, if something is programmed, like a 4 to 20 milliamp loss, you can see if that is dashes on the top or not. And that's basically how you check and see how the 320 is programmed for the alarm group for 4 to 20 milliamp loss. Thank you.